Hello everyone, today I have another game for you. This is Victor into Zed. If you do hear a voice in the background, that is me for my stream. Link to my Twitch will be down below. I stream pretty much every day on Twitch, YouTube, and now Kick. Also, if anybody is interested in joining our Discord, link to that will also be down below. So this is actually a smurfing game. Uh, I believe this is the placements on my other, uh, my third account. I think this MMR is around high plat, low emerald right now. Like in this game, if I recall correctly. I, I think it's in placements though. Or was in placements at this time. Victor and Dezeg can be a pretty sketchy matchup. Okay. Someone with laser there. Q auto trades totally fine. Tanking a, a ZQ for a Q auto was pretty much going to be worth it most of the time, unless you're like really far forward and you tank lots of minions. Zed goes shadow level two. That's interesting. Most Zeds go. Most Zeds go E. Okay, we have the wave pushing into him. We're going to probably ward topsider to see if we get ganked. I don't know what the jungler is. I have to tab first to see it. Kale top, Melio, Kogma bottom. That Melio Kogma is going to be very, very scary to deal with if this goes late. And if I recall correctly, it does go late. Uh, okay, I'm a little worried about getting ganked here. I don't know what the jungler is again. I still haven't. Oh, there it is. It's a Warwick. Okay, that makes sense. I understand about being scared of Warwick here. I can get if I get ganked from bot side here from okay Warwick's bot lane. If I did get ganked from uh, bot side there by Warwick, I without W, I'm most likely gonna have to flash or lose most of my health. Poor CSing here. Good Q auto. I'm pretty much out of mana, but I do have TP to pretty much just reset you back. Why did I start Amp Tome? Oh, wait. Why did wait? Why did I? Why did I start Amp Tome? I have no clue. Am I really going to look for an early lost chapter? I'm going to do the future's early lost chapter, I guess. Okay. I guess I'm very confident in my play here. Like, I'm, I'm very, very overly confident here that uh, I'm going to go for a very confident amp tome start. I feel like I don't need the health from D-Ring or Dark Seal or whatever. Very early lost chapter here. This is, a, that's really, really like cocky to do into Zeb, but I guess since I'm technically smurfing, it's fine. Now that I have lost chapter, it's pretty much impossible for me to go boom here. We got it super early. I don't do this super often. I wouldn't recommend this in your games, by the way. I would recommend it in like a really free game if like you're against a lane opponent that just also farms and can't really do much. Like if you're against the Rise, it's okay. Wouldn't recommend it in a champs like Zerath or Ziggs because their poke can get pretty volatile. I also wouldn't recommend it to Zed, but we'll see how this goes. Big wave coming into me here. I missed the laser. It's not good. Um, I'm assuming my goal is to thin this wave enough so it doesn't crash here. We just saw the jungler bot side by like 15 seconds ago, by the way. Okay. Ooh, really bad chunk. Zed hits everything. That's exactly overconfidence right there. I only have one health pot left. He hits another Q on me. He burns shadow, so if the jungler, our jungler did come middle, that would have been good. Okay, we saw what worked top side there. You reset and went top. I'm going to have to let this crash now because I lost too much HP. That wasn't good. Okay, let's see how this farming goes. Looks like it shouldn't be too bad. I missed miss one. Okay, yeah, we've only missed the one so far. Mm, nah, two. Okay, that's fine. Top Kale. Oh my god, that laser was really bad. Wow, and I missed... I don't sidestep anything. That was really, really poor play right there. I, I'm going to die by to Warwick here. Warwick's just going to cue me from top side, am I not? Just going to get... Oh, I try to ward over the wall. I'm assuming I'm just going to get, like, queued by Warwick here. Or killed by Zed. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead here, right? I flash. What is it? Oh, Zed's flashing. I'll flash that. Okay, I should live. Okay, I guess I'm fine. Zed ignites in ours. I don't know why Zed flashed out of tower range like that, but I guess he gives me the opportunity to live. Do I die to Warwick here? Ooh, that was... Scary. That was uh, it's just scary. We don't know exactly where he is. I'm going to buy a refill here, and I'm, since I'm waiting for health, I don't have to go into debt. And the moment I'm out of debt, I will go. Nice. I'm going to miss a bunch of XP here. Not in a very good spot. Silas holds the wave. Oh, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. That's actually super, super helpful here. Okay. Wait, when did I get an assist? Did I get, like, maybe we got a level 1 assist? I was wondering how I got the assist. I guess that's fine. We pull the wave here. This is good. Obviously, Zed doesn't have TP here. 
So we're going to pull this wave. That's fine. I pop a refill because I'm going to lose a lot of health. I can walk down here. I wouldn't recommend it, though. I think the enemy team is way too healthy. I don't think this is a good rum. Zed's bottom. They get one. Nice. I can just hold this freeze and deny Zed XP. Zed rummed bottom there instead of uh, resetting, which is really, really bad for him. Top. This game's looking really, really bad right now. Oh my god, and the CS is looking poor. I don't have D ring, so the CS is a little more difficult. I should have thinned this wave a lot harder here, because now I'm going to lose a bit of HP. We pull the wave pretty nicely again. I need to thin this wave a lot here. Zed's walking back middle. Here he is. I am 6. Zed doesn't have Ignite. His R is probably coming back up pretty shortly here. We did deny him a good chunk of XP. Nice sidestep there. Zed no shadow here. I can look for him here. I can walk up and look for like a W play. Rakan's close, so I might be waiting for that. I should have... Mm. I think I should have walked up on him there and looked for a WR. I don't think walking back there makes sense. And we miss a cannon. Oof. I think that was bad. Maybe I was waiting for the Rakan. I'm not sure exactly. But even if the Rakan was a little far, I think it was still fine to do that. He is hovering me now. I'm trying to bait it a little bit. There's Zed Shadow. Rakan shows a little early. That's fine, I think. Maybe not. Looking for the Zed here over the Warwick. I'm just dead. Yep. Does Silas pick one up? Maybe. I don't know. Sure hope so. Would love some passive stacks. Doesn't look like it, though. Oh! Oh, what well, we're killing you. Depressing. And I missed this entire... We're in a really bad spot right now. I don't think this could be much worse than it is right now. Die. Missed the entire wave when we were already down XP. We're down CS. This is looking really, really bad. Every lane is losing right now. Every single lane across the board is... How do we win this game? What the heck? They have a Kale too. They're scale, they have Kale Kog'Maw. Their scaling is disgusting. How do we win this? What? That's not... I have no... I literally have no clue. I have to just space these team fights like a monster. Ward to see if Zeb's back in there. We don't see him back in there. Oh, we see him. Nice. We stop his back. That's pretty big. Pop a refill because I tank a tower shot for it. I think that's fine. Gotta worry about the support roaming here. Warwick on Dragon. Warwick gets the dragon. There's the support realm that I was talking about. That was obvious since bot just died. I should be dead here. My R's not up. Ooh. No chance I live, right? Wow, they don't chase. Warwick does, kinda. Gives up on me. My R's not up for 28 seconds. Yeah, this is bad. I should just back in TP. I should just recall in TP. I'm looking for a poke on Zed. This is so scary right now. If Zed just shadows over the wall, I'm dead. Okay, I am going to hover over. Oh, no shadow Zed. I can look for a little poke here. Look for a W on him, maybe. If I do get close, though, he has R. Yeah, I'm just going to back off. Okay. Yeah, this seems like... If we lose an early game, like it seems really, really bad. They have crazy scaling on their side. In Kale and Kog'Ma. And they have Amelia with the Kog'Ma, too. It looks really, really rough. I'm kind of, I don't remember this game. It was from a while ago. If, from like, if I had to recall, guess, I'd say it was probably from like maybe three weeks, a month ago. From current time. I just haven't been uploading videos. Not really in a good headspace, but that's okay. Okay, we can't stop Melio's back. Oh, we do. Oh, I didn't think we'd make it. Well, did we stop his back? Or did his recall go? I didn't even see it. Did his recall go through there? It looked like we stopped his back, but like you could never know. I, I didn't actually see. I was looking at the minimap in that moment because I didn't think we'd make it in time. Okay, I'm about to have laser evolve here. Lovely. There we go. Perfect. Laser evolve. Now we can actually play this lane a little bit easier. 64 CS at 10 minutes. Really atrocious. But we've been in a pretty bad spot. We put ourselves in a pretty bad spot, honestly. With how we traded with the Zed and our decision on items, starting items. Okay, good laser poke. We are level 7. Once you hit 9, this becomes a lot more prevalent because max rank laser. But 7 not too bad. Okay, he's just pushing the wave in. That's fine. Is trolling. Yeah, like we have a Ramus top. Silas jungle. We have Vayne. Like, Vayne's obviously got good scaling, but like I don't think Vayne's in an amazing spot right now. She's pretty okay. I've seen a lot of people go Triforce on her and like Shiv and stuff. It's not... Awful. I think it's situational, though. I don't think it's an every game thing. Instead of pushing for the plate, I'm just going to walk bottom and see if I can get an assist. Doesn't look like I can. Okay, I'm just going to stay middle then. Yeah. Trying to overextend there and go for plates, I think, is a little greedy. 
Okay, looking for just laser poke on Zed off cooldown here. It's kind of all we can do. Nice. We're hitting it nicely here. Warwick just took Herald. We, oh, both hit. That's really bad. Whenever you're playing against Zed with Electrocute, your goal is to dodge at least one of the Shuriken so then he doesn't get the electro proc, Electrocute proc. That's kind of everything. Even if you get hit by one Shuriken, it's annoying, but like that Electrocute proc really, really makes the trade get that oomph. That's the only real way he's going to proc it. W, E, double Q is the only way he's going to proc Electrocute without looking for an all-in with autos and R. Okay, I'm probably just going to crash this and reset for Sorks. Not really good chunking on the minions HP, but I just decide to sack it. That's okay. Okay, we're gonna reset here by our Sorks, walk back to middle. TP's not up for 125, they're Herald crashing bottom. That tower is going down for sure. Yep. Now let me try to theory craft how we win this game, because I don't remember I really don't remember this game at all. Um They have a Kogma, they have Emilio, and they have a Kale. They have Zed to have backline access with Warwick as well, potentially. I'm assuming a lot of people on the enemy team just run it down. Like they think they have such a monstrous lead that they probably just hard engage on everything. And maybe Warwick and Zed just get caught out a lot. And then when they, the Kogma Melio have no peel or anything, really. Okay, we see Warwick going for red here. It isn't. Can we contest this? Yeah, we should be able to fight this. The botling's not walking over, so this should be fine. Warwick, oh, nice. Good delete. Oh, not delete. There we go. Jeez, okay, we got him. Oh, and he saves the R. That's massive. Zed should be dead here no matter what. Nice. Good laser. We should go bottom here. Yep, walk bottom. This Kog'Maw and Melio literally aren't paying any attention at all. This should be dead here. Okay, they just threw so massively. Still, that one throw shouldn't be enough for like... I am I got a good chunk of the kills too. Nice. We, we're really strong here. Um, I need My wave state doesn't look great, so I think I'm going to go... Yeah, my wave state's not good at all. So I'm going to go middle and crash. And then reset and maybe TP back. For dragon, or I might just crash middle and look for dragon, and then reset is also a possibility. I'm trying to get middle in. Warwick's back up, and obviously the enemy team just spawned. I think backing for Leandris before we do dragon would make a lot more sense. Yeah, I'm gonna back off here. I'm trying to get my blue trinket off while I'm recalling. I don't think if I can't get yeah if I can't get it in that far bush by their blue buff, I'm not gonna use it. I was going to say that's, that's correct because we just saw Warwick like 20 seconds ago by their blue. Not even checking this out. I'm not even looking at the dragon. That's not good. I'm assuming I'm going to wait until I see Warwick on the map and then I would check it, but I should at least look at the HP of the dragon to see how quickly it's going down. But we have a pretty good ward there, so I think we'd see Warwick coming in. We see Melee on the map, Zed. We see everybody except Warwick. Kogma with R, I think I can actually beat him. I have to let land, like I think, maybe one laser or land my W and I can kill. With alt. Okay, I'm looking bot lane. I do have my unleashed TP, so I'm trying to look for plays around that now. Okay. Oh, Silas tries to go for Kale. Kale flashes. I'm totally content just sitting here and trading a farm for me. I'm getting solo XP while Kogma is still getting leeched by... Oh, Kale dies. What? Kale was out. I don't know why he walked back in, but sure. Uh, Kogma is getting XP leeched by Melio while I'm just getting pure solo XP and they're not getting any damage on tower at all. So I'm honestly totally okay with that. Ooh, I missed that laser. That was ugh. really bad lasers this game. Like, really bad. I don't remember if this was like after a break or something. Or I, I really don't remember. Okay. Looking for chunks on the wave. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is Melee's positioning? What is Kogma? Wait, why is Rakan not going in? What? Rakan absolutely should have went on that. We landed a stun on both of them and they were both chunked. Rakan was not ready for that at all, I guess. Uh, that was really bad. Really bad from him. That should have totally been like flashes or something from them. So it's here. I should be fine even if he goes on me. He can't even get on me. I'll look for laser. Get a little bit of poke off, and I'm going to reset. Still have Unleashed TP up. I might go top lane to see. We should see how my healthy tower is first. I'm assuming Kale's just going to get full tower right now. I'm going to go Zhonya's here. That seems reasonable. Yep, top tower goes down. I'm going to walk top here. 
Unless Ramis wants to keep going top. Okay, Ramis wants to keep going top. Sure then, fine. I'll keep going middle and just wave clearing. Which, I mean, it's not bad. I guess I'm all of our team's wave clear, to be fair. I guess it makes more sense for me to actually go middle here. I guess it makes more sense. Yeah. Don't have R for 40 here. I have slow evolve soon. Okay, nice. 16 stacks away. Still have TP, no ult. Warwick, three bottom. Melio Warwick, Zed bottom. Vayne backing up, finally. Okay, I'm going to crash because we see three bottom. If Kog'Maw's here, he'd be by himself. I can walk up. I should walk up here. I'm going to really go to defend bottom. I guess. I was going to say, I think I should walk up and look for Chunk on tower because we have such good vision and then we can rotate. If they try to collapse on me from river, I think my team could have looked for something. Okay, Melio's out of position. I'm going to probably try and save my R for interrupting Warwick R unless we can just kill Melio. Ooh. Oh, he gets the knockup. I don't have slow evolve, which is really sad here. I don't know if we catch him. We have plan uh, scuttle movement speed, so we should catch him. Okay, he's dead. Nice. I get the kill. There's evolve. Slow evolves here. Ramus taunts him. He should be dead. Taunt anyone and he's dead. Literally taunt anybody and they're dead. Nice. Harold is up. We can look for that. I'm going to go match Kale. I think matching Kale makes sense right now. Ramus shouldn't do it. Okay, whatever. I think Ramus should be going bottom and looking for tower, but this is fine, I guess. I have R still. I'm trying to, like, not have Kogma be here. He TPs bottom. I mean, sure, whatever. It is, like, Plat Emerald, whatever it is. Okay, we're just going to clear the wave and then walk back middle. Sure. Even though I still have teleport, I feel like I should be sitting in the side lane, but maybe I have very little confidence in my team. Melio caught out again. Dead. R. Yep. Okay, Melio's positioning is really bad. Kale's here on the back line by himself. Even with R, I think he should be dead. He might get one, but I think he should die. He does get one. That's fine. Give me all this gold. Um, I could flash laser for the Z. Okay, unless he's just going to commit, sure. Can I beat this guy? Uh, I think with Rakan it should be fine, yeah? Okay, he flashes, sure. This is really, really bad from, like, all of them. Really low mana here. Trying to, uh, if I hit Kog'Maw with that, I think I could have looked for a flash Q auto kill. And then potentially Zonya's like, Warwick ult or something, if that's what he tried to do for me. Okay, I'm going to back here. Uh, I don't think I should buy full Zonya's. I'm not a big fan of it, but I guess if I have to. I'd prefer to go Needless for Deathcap. That's good. Okay, good, good. Buy Finish Codex. Good. I don't like buying full Zonya's until I've actually used the active, unless I literally have to and there's no other option. I'm going to be going Zonya's into Deathcap here. Sitting on the Finish Codex stopwatch is pretty much like having the item without the armor. The components of Zonya's are pretty much the same as having Zonya's. You only really buy it for the active. Ability Haste is nice. Armor is nice, but you pretty much buy it for the active. Okay, they're caught out here. I'm going to try and run straight to it. I don't have R for 12. Zed's in the back line here, too. This is a little scary. This is looking really bad. I'm just dead. Yeah, that looked really bad. Okay, there goes all of our momentum. They get a dragon from this. They could potentially Baron as well. That was a really, really random fight. I think it would have been better for me to clear middle, but I guess I wanted to walk straight to my team to try and help them. Which ended up not being the correct call. I think I should have cleared the wave, because then even if we die, then they don't really have an initial wave to do much with. They're going to go for Baron too, yeah. I have TP. Can we contest it? It's me and Aramis and Rakan. They don't have Kogma. I think I can TP. I think I should. I think I really should. It's only three men, Baron right now. And Kogma, who's like most of their sustained damage is not there. I'm probably going to blue trinket it. Zed's also not there. They're probably going to do... Yeah, they're doing this so slow. Yep, this makes sense. Zed not walking over is really troll. Kog'Maw being bottom is also pretty troll. We get them off Baron. That's nice. Clear the vision here. Good. Okay. Yep, heading top. Looking for tower damage is fine. Rakan's a little caught out. Not really. Okay, never mind. He's with the Silas. I didn't see him on the minimap. Okay, Ramus kills Kog'Maw because Kog'Maw for some reason overextends. I missed the cannon. Oof. Kale, oh, look for yep, 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 look for the Zonya, Zonya, Zonya. Perfect. I have flash here too. Q flash. Oh nope. That was a bad time. I think she should die though. I Zonya's a little late, I think. Nice, he gets him. Good. I can buy Zonya's here. I should probably Oh, I can't sell anything. I can sell refill for it. How close? 87, is that what I pinged? Now that we've used the active, obviously we're gonna look for full buy. That kill is very strong. I think I could have Zonya's a lot earlier there. Okay, yeah, there it is. Right, we sell our refill because it was 87, then we get 60 for the refill. 
Don't have TP here for 220. We did stop Baron though, which is pretty good. I'm fairly strong. Doesn't look like they're building like any MR on their team yet. Okay, head middle, clear middle, seems fine. We need to space really, really like intelligently in these fights. Need to be very smart about our spacing because like their front to back is better than our front to back because they have Kogma Kale. Like their shredding is so much more powerful than ours. It's literally Kogma Kale versus Victor Vane. I think Kogma Kale do a better job at that than Victor Vane. Kogma has way longer range, does disgusting damage. Kale also, once she's 16, she has longer range than Victor. Before then, she's about the same. Okay, they're really committing here. What is this? What am I watching? Okay, this should be, yeah, we can, oh my god. Bad W for me. Kogma's free hitting there. That's, yeah, we're not chasing, okay. There's Vayne finally going in. That was really bad. Like, they don't initially chase, and then they chase after it's over. That was really weird. I think we could have actually gotten them there. The enemy team overcommitted way too hard. They don't have Smite right now while we do, so Baron is stealable. They're going to look for it. They don't have Smite. Well, we do, obviously. I just said that. I have Zhonya still. I'm pretty low mana. I'm not that low, honestly. I have enough for, like, a couple spell rotations. Ka Silas is getting chased. Is Silas going to steal it? If Silas steals, it's massive. I don't think he's... Nope. Can I do anything about this? Probably not. Laser... Yeah, that's all I can do. Kale ults Melio, I guess. Sure, nice. I don't think I can walk up to this. I think it's just int. No, there's nothing I do here. I don't even know I'm trying this. Should just recall, yeah? We're wasting time. Okay, the dragon's up in 140. Uh, yeah, J yeah, literally. Okay, Kogma's building MR now. Warwick has Jack show. Kogma looks like he's going wit's end next. Now they're starting to get the MR. I might want to divert my path from Death Cap to Void Staff, but we'll see. Just sitting on the Needless is fine, and then just building towards Void Staff if they actually do build the MR, which it looks like two of them are. Vayne, maybe killing Zed? I don't even... No, he's committing real hard. Oh, yeah, real hard, and he's dead. All right, Vayne dies. He doesn't... Oh, he gets Kogma, sure. Kogma griefs by walking back in when he didn't need to. Okay, that gets rid of Kogma Baron. Kale's pushing bottom though. I have TP. I'm, pro I'm probably gonna have to reset anyway. Overextending top here. Eh, we see them. I still don't think it's great. I think overextending top. There's a little greedy. I'm Victor. I don't do a whole. <clears throat> I don't do a whole lot of damage to towers. I'm pretty much all of our wave clear. Ramus's only way to wave clear is like tank the wave. Obviously, it's good wave clear, but it puts him in such a vulnerable spot. And then that's kind of it, other than me. Okay, kill bottom. Kill very fast though. Yeah. I'm just looking to farm here. I, I can. I mean, I can still go death cap. Like it's great against everybody else. Kogma doesn't have too much MR yet. He is building towards wit's end. He's getting kind of close to it. Okay. Zed's top. He's Warwick middle. I have another needless in base if I want to back for it, or blighting jewel if I want to go void stuff. I think the Void Staff purchase makes more sense here. I think I should divert my Death Cap purchase and go Void Staff. Okay, Zed's top. This is third Drake for enemy team. We really don't want them getting a Mountain Drakes with their MR that they're building. This should Yeah, we have to fight this. Zed's top without TP, so I think we can force this. Oh my god, Silas just delete, is it deleted. Okay, this is looking not good. This is looking really bad, actually. Vayne just chasing. Okay, we get Kale. That's good. Oh my god, wait, the stun lands. Wow, we deleted them both. Okay, wait, that was looking so bad. I think we focus this and then reset for... Vayne lands the Condemn. Is it good? Uh, okay. I guess we get him. My priority here is the Dragon. Kogma, don't get it. Nice. Good, we finish it now. Can I just get full Death Cap? How close am I? If I can get full Death Cap, I'm probably going to go that. Rakan maybe dying here. Okay, we got a chunk on him. I don't think he gets Inhibitor. Ramus should be able to catch him, right? It's Ramus after all, right? Flash taunts. Oh, he gets away. Just by the hairs on his chinny chin chin. Remus, does he catch him? I don't think so now. Maybe. It's close. Zed Shadow's a pretty short cooldown. Yeah, okay, no, he doesn't get him. I'm going to catch this one wave and then probably back for Death Cap. I think going the Void Staff makes more sense, but I did get like just enough gold for Death Cap, so it is a stronger immediate spike going for Death Cap here. Silas going in hot with KLR. 
We got the dragon, so we're both both teams on second Drake, which is really, really good for us. Dena delaying that mountain is really, really massive. Okay, my team randomly fighting middle for nothing. We get Kale. Not bad. Warwick. I can save my R for that. Nice. Good. Kog'Maw RM. Yep. Kog'Maw's trying to shred everybody. He's dead, though. That's what happens. Kog'Maw walks right into me. I can definitely delete him, even if he's going to build Void or uh, Woodsend. Okay. Pretty much an ace. Zed is the only one alive right now. And there he is. I think we can chunk a... Why? Why is Vayne running away? We should stay here and push this. We have 20 seconds on everybody. Zed's the only one here. Vayne, good. There we go, Vayne's walking up now. We should stay here and look for a little damage on tower. Maybe some jungle camps. That's fine. Yep, Zed no shadow. This should be good here. Walk up. Yep, fine. If he goes on Vayne, I kill. If he goes on me, I hope Vayne kills. Probably not, though. Now we need to back off. Okay, Vayne taking a tower shot there was really bad. Try to get a bit of a chunk on tower. Couldn't really do much about it. I have Blighting Jewel in base here. If I don't go Void Staff next, I'm 1 million percent trolling. I cannot imagine. There's literally no other option. Void Staff is the only option here. I'm going to try and get their blue quick here. And then reset. If I go bottom... There's Warwick. That was real scary. If I go bottom here and catch like one wave, I don't have to go into debt, which is nice. Not even a wave, like a minion. I'm just going to take the wave. Yeah, Ramus is going to give me the whole wave. Nice. Let's not miss cannon. That'd be great. Pog, we didn't miss it. Okay, nice back for Blood Angel here. A little worried about Warwick potentially running at me. Okay, he's topside, we're fine. Okay, Kale is level 15. Getting close to the level 16 monster Kale. Kog'Maw's also at, what, four items? Is it three or four items? I didn't see. Uh, I think it was four. Jane, please. Or I think it was three with boots. I don't know why. Again, random fight. I just caught out and dead. Yep, Vayne dead. Warwick flashing away. My goal is to just wave clear here and not let them end. If I can get poke, I'll go for poke, but what is Ramus doing? What is it? What is Warwick doing? Okay, if they're going to grief their positioning like this, I'm going to look for poke. I'm getting very close to looking for R on them. Warwick's giga chunked. Rakan looking for a flank with R still. Are this Zanya's anything? Oh, I'm going to flash. I burn everything on Kogma. Do I even get I don't even get him. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't know why I walked so far forward there. I'll, is Warwick going to come for me? Who knows? Probably not, but I guess we're, yeah, we're fine. Okay. I don't think walking up there makes any sense. My entire priority should just be wave clear. The insta three knows. Yeah, this game is winnable. Even though the, they're both, like the enemy team and uh, both teams are griefing it really hard, but like enemy team is griefing, I think, extra hard here. Okay, chunked. Baron is obviously up. Our whole team's alive though. TP's not up for 40. Okay. They don't have backs. We have buys and backs over them, which is amazing. Massive Rakan knockup. Massive. Kogma die. Oh. Vayne was just scared of that. Okay, Warwick misses R2. There, Kogma's one shot. This should be totally free of Baron here. They don't have Smite. As long as Silas doesn't die here, everything will be good, and Silas dies. Okay. We can if we still win the fight, we can look for Baron. It's literally just Zed Kogma. They're so low. I have R up. I'm going to try and Q minions for move speed. Can I land a laser on Zed? It's close. Emilio shields him probably. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're not going to look for Baron since Silas died. If Silas just didn't chase, I think we easily do Baron there because my R was up. It makes it very difficult for them to get in. I have Void Staff, full Void Staff in base. I'm going to look for Chunk on Tower here while they're backing. I'm not going to get much. There's no way I get full Tower. If I do their troll, what is the what are they taking so long for? Jeez. Okay, I have R still and Zanyas. There's no way Zed kills me ever. Nice sidestep on the Qs. I don't think I should have R'd that. I think wasting R there was really bad. No, I'm not gonna have R for that was really stupid of me Ring. That makes no sense actually. The W is fine, the sidestep is fine, the Q was fine. Even if I use Zanyas, that was fine. Ring is really, really stupid in my opinion. Kale just spawns now. We need to burn this. Vayne's not even here. Silas is walking over. We need to burn this as fast as possible right now. Because we do not win this fight without my R. They're not even going to contest. That's so bad from them. They absolutely should contest this dragon. They decide against it and we get the second mountain for us. Third dragon of the game for our team. Okay, that puts us on soul points. Two mountains on our team. I can back for Vortier. I have TP up. My R's up in about 10. They're just going to trade Baron for it. I don't. Is that worth it? I'm going to cancel my back? Really? I think I should have backed and TP'd in. They get Baron here. If they don't end the game with this Baron, the dragon is way more valuable. Okay, we get one. Kale no R. This is massive. Kale no R. I have Zanyas. Ooh. 
Really good, really good, really good. Izanya's a little late kill. They did a lot of damage there to me. Wasn't expecting that, I guess. Wasn't expecting that much burst, maybe. It's KO level 16. It makes sense. Okay, I'm in the back, so no Kog'Maw snipe hits me. We kill two of them. Uh, Kale is their side later. <clears throat> so getting rid of her Baron is pretty massive. Oh my god, I'm dead. Yep, I'm trolling. I stop my back so I don't get sniped by Kog'Maw. We see them walk middle, and then I greed back again. That's really, really dumb. One death like that can throw the game. When am I going to go last item? I don't think I need QSS. I could just look for like ability haste or even Banshees. Banshees wouldn't be bad. It stops the Warwick R from hitting me. It's pretty much like the same thing. If I don't get it popped, if it doesn't get popped by Kogma or ZEQs or something like that, then Banshees is pretty much blocking Warwick R. I think Fiendish Codex makes sense here. I can build it into pretty much anything I want. Cosmic Drive, Lich Bane, Banshees, whatever. I don't really necessarily want Shadow Flame here. I think Cosmic Drive or Banshees both make sense. I should buy the Fiendish Codex. I'm thinking about what I want. Fiendish Codex. Uh, I'm going to go Garg. What? Really? Really? Huh. Okay, let me think about this. Wait. I get Ability Haste, Armor, and Magic Resist. Is this really the buy? If I could actually get to Gargoyles, maybe. Because that Kale did like almost one-shot me with just like three two autos, pretty much. Really? Hmm. I don't... I mean, the Aegis item stats are really good. Like, the actual stats on the item, like 15 ability haste, I'm pretty sure. And like, what is it? 30 armor, mag 30 armor magic resist? Something like that. Like, the stats on it are good. Gives you ability haste and resist, which aren't bad at all, especially since we have two mountain dragons. Huh. I don't know if that's the... I mean, it's not... I don't know if that's the buy. Maybe I wanted, like, as much immediate power. It's definitely better than having a Fiendish Codex. For sure. Maybe I wanted as much immediate power as possible. Okay, Zed committing hard. Zed should die here. Oh my god, Silas loads too. Cogmarsh death trolling his positioning. I still have Zonyas. This is good. Oh, I didn't Zonyas the Warwick call. I'm trolling. Oh my god. Wait, what? How do we not lose the game here? Wait, what? How do we not lose the game right now? How do Ramus Silas do this? Wait, what? You're kidding. There's no way Ramus Silas does this, right? What am I? Oh, nice. the KLR. Oh my God. They do it. Wow. They actually hold the enemy team griefed it. I don't know why they're going for top inhibitor. They just focus Nexus towers and then when we're screwed. Wow. They actually hold that. That's nuts. I'm going to sell that and look for Banshees now. I honestly don't mind that buy, actually. If it's just for the immediate power spike, I think it's really, really strong, like, immediate stats. Gives me more ability haste than Phoenix Codex. Obviously, I don't get AP from it. But I don't know if going full Gargoyles makes sense. I think Banshees is for sure the play. I don't mind that. I mean, I'm really close to it. I'm 160 off. I'm just going to probably farm one mid-wave and then back for Banshees. I actually, I, so I actually really like that. I think that's actually kind of smart. Buy an item for the immediate spike, as like, for as much of a spike as I can sell it if the game's not over and then look for your actual correct item good i'm a, i'm actually that's actually a good buy i actually now that i see this is my strat i don't think full gargoyles made sense the aegis item made sense but gargoyles just didn't feel like it was it i do like banshees it can tank the warwick r if i'm a, if i have slow fingers and can't zonya's it unless zed pops it or something or kogma oh this is a spicy game dead even in kills they're definitely demolishing the map. They're way up in towers. Kogma, wait, Silas kills Kogma randomly. Our dragon is okay. So no, no smite for us for no Kogma for them. I, ooh, I think them not having Kogma is pretty massive because now I can only just focus on Kale. I can just use save everything for Kale. Really. Wait, he just okay. Interrupt, interrupt, interrupt. Uh, a little slow. I get Warwick here. Can I? Ramus taunts Kale. <gasps> Kale doesn't even R. Ramus taunts and just blows her up. What the heck? Wow. Okay, I think we need to look for Dragon here. I don't have Flash or anything. Zed, ooh, swap. If Ramus gets the taunt, he's dead. If Ramus gets the taunt, he's dead. He's dead. What is Zed doing? He was free. He just had to walk up to Melio. I should be able to catch Melio. Yep, dead. Ace. Kogma's the only one up in eight seconds. We're not ending the game. I need to go for Dragon. Go for Dragon. Go for Dragon. It's soul. The base doesn't matter. The inhibitor can go down. It's fine. 
If Silas in nine seconds, he should make it there anyway. I need to stay here. Ramus does such little damage to Dragon. I need to be here for when Kog'Maw gets in as well. We have a good ward on where Kog'Maw is going to be coming from. My R is going to be up in six seconds. This is fine. I should just W if Kog'Maw, we see Kog'Maw there. Just W the passageway so I don't let him in. Yep, just look for W here or finish it since it's that low. I can look for Kog'Maw now. I still have Zonyas. He should be dead. Eh, beautiful. Kog'Maw's griefing it. QSS and Wits End, and I just shred through all of that. Can buy Blue Elixir here. I don't think I sell Sorks for Cosmic Drive. I don't think that makes sense. Because you have to actually hit somebody with something to actually get more movement speed than Sorks not being able to kite at all would be very annoying. The pen is also still very relevant when you pair it with Void Staff. Because the percent pen always comes through first. The percent pen from Void always comes through before flat pen of Sorks and Morello and whatever. Shadow Flame. Okay, we have Mountain Soul. We have three Mountain Dragons. Both Banshees and Zonyas are doing work here because we have the three Mountain Dragons. I'm getting loads of free resists. I shouldn't even really be farming. I'm full build. I don't need to, I don't need minions. I can just chunk. I shouldn't be taking this from Ramus. I'm full build. I don't know what I'm doing here. Clearing the chunking the minions to like get them low is fine. Okay. We were worried. I guess I'm worried about a TP flank, like back door. We only have one Nexus Tower. So I guess Kale can like TP to that ward and then back door, like tanking it with her R. I think that's very plausible. Very possible. We're just doing this. They're not even contesting. They're just gonna push middle. Okay, I got Baron back. We reset here and group in middle on our base middle. Oh, Zed's looking for me. If we can't, we're in a bit of an awkward spot. They can cut us off here. Okay, we just commit on the fight. They don't get to push middle fast enough. Okay, Ramus lives. KLR from Silas. Warwick misses. Yikes. I still have R. I still have R. I have Flash too. Flash for Cog. Big, big, big. Kale, 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 Kale is everything right now. They're all so low. I think my Flash was a little, like, early. I think I needed to Flash... Or sorry, it was either a little late or a little early. I needed to either wait for, like, the regroup or go a little sooner than I did. But, okay. We got Remus for Warwick. We have Baron here. We have Mountain Soul. Um, our wave's coming up middle here. I think that's fine. We can stay middle and look for inhibitor. Potentially. I don't know if we actually get it. They, we have The Baron minions are nice, but like... Do we really win this 4v5 without my R? I don't think so. I feel like this is so sketch. This is, feels so sketch. I'm looking for whatever poke I can and I can't land any of it. Banshees isn't up for 30 seconds here. Sonya's not up for a minute. Five. Minute six. Whatever. Elder up in 345. We have Baron here. I think we should like... Because Ramus is up in seven. I think we need to get our reset and buy whatever you can for your team. I'm already full build. Vayne isn't. Vayne still has a full item slot open. Okay, I buy another blue elixir. Seems reasonable. I don't I don't think there's anything I want to sell on my build. I feel like I have everything. I don't want to sell anything for Shadow Flame. I don't think I need Cosmic Drive. I'm not selling Leandries for anything. I think everything is totally acceptable in the build. Especially with having the three Mountain Dragons, both the Zonyas and Banshees are totally fine. You get so much value from those resists. Okay, we ping a ward out. Ramus is bot lane. Ramus queuing over, snowballing over. This is scary, bro. One team fight to end the game. Either team wins a team fight, it's over. Our inhibs back up. Lovely. We do only have one Nexus Tower still. Okay, Vayne's gonna go top. I do not like that at all. I don't like us being here. If Vayne's gonna go top, it makes no sense for Vayne to go top. Like, I should be top, if anything. But I don't even think we need that. We're gonna look for Bush Cheese. Is it gonna work? The bush cheese does it work? Yeah, we're still we're committing to it for some reason. I don't know why they'd walk. Why would they even walk in here? It's not worth red buff Warwick. Red Warwick, it's not worth it. Just R away. Okay, Warwick's deleted. Doesn't get the R off. I'm just gonna R that because that uh, was a waste. I think the Warwick just gets deleted. Is an R out immediately. Kale R into my taunt. Stun, stun, stun. Beautiful taunt into into stun. Q auto, she's dead. Q auto, she's dead. Nice, massive. Should be this should be game. This should be game. Go get wave. Go get wave. Good, good, good. Wave is important. We need a wave. I'm going to reset TB back. That's fine too. Full HP makes it guaranteed. I can clear top wave just in case they try to do any... Nah, I don't even need to do this. There's nothing they can do. Am I just going to wait to TP on Nexus? Or inhibitor towers? I need to TP back. What am I doing? TP back. TP back. TP, 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 TP. Go. There we go. Finally. Jeez. Okay, they die. Nice. Good, we get them. That going for the wave doesn't matter. There's no way. No one can do anything with that wave. There's no way anyone can backdoor. Kale is the only one with teleport, and she's dead. Wow, we actually won that game. That's nuts. That Warwick griefed it so hard. 
Wow. That was crazy. That Silas and Ramus hold on our Nexus Towers 2 were crazy. If you guys enjoyed that video, please like, subscribe, and share with anyone who you think would care. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time.